Next day, Birbal went to Akbar's palace and was ready to answer Akbar's next puzzle. Let's see what the second puzzle is. Puzzle 2 Angles through paper folding Akbar said that yesterday you created different sets of lines using a paper. Today, my puzzle is related to angles. If I give you an angle and asked you to form a bisector, how will you create a bisector of a given angle through this paper? asked Akbar. Birbal smiled and said, It's so simple, sir. Birbal took a piece of paper and showed Akbar the angle AOB in this way. He then folded and creased the paper in such a way that the legs of OA and OB of the given angle AOB coincided with each other like this. Akbar asked Birbal, why must the crease pass through the vertex of the angle? How could you say that this angle is bisected? Birbal explained. Suppose I fold over any point O of one portion of this sheet of paper and then crease the paper in such a way that the legs OA and OB of the given angle AOB coincide like this. Then, if I unfold the sheet and darken the crease and make a point D on this crease like this, then you can see that the angle AOD is reflected onto angle POD on the line OD. And hence, both angles are congruent and OD is the bisector of angle AOB as it divides the angle into two equal parts. But how will you produce a right angle through this paper? asked Akbar. That's easy too, sir. We can produce right angles by constructing perpendicular lines from the paper as I did in the previous puzzles. When two rays intersect and form a 90 degree angle, or are perpendicular to each other at the intersection, they form a right angle. Yesterday, I folded the paper such that a segment of the given line AB is folded over onto itself in such a way that the crease passes through the given point P. This is also the same point where the rays of line AB intersect to form a right angle. Formations of right angles seem simple. How will you form vertical angles from a given point? asked Akbar. Let me show you, said Birbal. Suppose AB and CD are two lines that intersect at O. Fold and crease the paper through vertex O placing BO on CO and DO on AO. If we unfold the paper and darken the crease like this and mark two points EF on the crease like this, we will see that now we have an angle AOE and angle BOF formed by two intersecting lines and same way angle COE and angle DOF formed by two intersecting lines. Since these are a pair of opposite angles formed by intersecting lines, they form vertical angles and vertical angles are always congruent by property. How can you say vertical angles are congruent? asked Akbar. Let me continue with the above example, sir. If I crease the paper back along the line EF 
like this, you will see that the angle AOD and angle COB exactly coincide with each other. And as we know, two angles that coincide exactly with each other are congruent. Hence, we can say that the two vertical angles AOD and COB are congruent. That's interesting. Your answer to my question amazed me. Come back tomorrow and I'll ask you my third puzzle. But next time, it won't be that easy for you. Stay tuned to know what will be Akbar's next puzzle to Birbal.